All right, so since we are on the topic of uh, our Japan deployment, um, or 31st Mew for all of you, uh, all of you Marine Corps guys, um, so I might as well get this story out of the way because, well, it's not really embarrassing for me, but you know, everybody's eventually going to bring it up that you know I haven't told this story, so let's just get it out of the way right now. All right, so this is a story about me and a story about my roommate at the time. So I'm going to leave my roommate uh, nameless in this because you know for whatever reason he might be embarrassed or it doesn't fucking matter. Um, but my roommate's still in the Marine Corps today, doing great things. Um, but we were roommates in Japan. So I remember that um, me and my roommate had just got back from the PX or we got back from the seven day store, whichever one. And I remember he had a big fat dip in. He always had a big fat dip in. Never fucking forget him. Um, but so he's like, man, I got to take a shit. And so he's from he's from Pennsylvania, just backwoods, you know. He's, he's a country bumpkin motherfucker. I love him to death. But so he goes in the bathroom. He's like, I got to take a shit. Right. So, um, after a little bit, like, uh, he's in there like four or five minutes or whatever. And I straight up, I'm like out, out in the barracks room. Like it, it was a small barracks room. So we had two guys in a barracks room in a bunk and then the bathroom was in the middle, and then there was another room on the other side that was two men. So we had four guys sharing the same bathroom in the middle in this barracks. So it's a fairly small room, like you had room for a desk and a computer and then the bunk, right? So I'm like sitting there at my computer, I was probably sending an email back home or, or something because we were in Japan, and I hear the fucking toilet seat smacking. Like I wish, you, you know what a toilet seat sounds like when you smack it in the bathroom, like it was going thwack, 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 thwack. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on in there, you know? So I'm like, yo, are you all right? You know? And like, I don't, I didn't hear any fucking response. Right. And I like hear this commotion in the bathroom. So I'm like, I fucking open the bathroom and my buddy is upside down next to the toilet. So it was in this little area, like the toilet sat between the two walls and he's upside down in between the wall and the toilet having a seizure. So I'm like, holy fuck, you know, like I just like, what the, f you know, I come in, I'm like, what the fuck? And so I like pull him out, I get him out on the floor so he's not, you know, he's not like literally, uh, you know, biting his tongue or, or, or um, choking to death. I pull him out on the floor and so I like, I'm like, okay, I'm, I gotta go get somebody. Like I gotta go get, I gotta go get Doc, right? So I yell over to McClellan. I remember that he shared a uh, ba uh, the bathroom with us. McClellan and, and some dude from Powerline. I forget his name. He was a nasty motherfucker. But anyways, I yell over to McClellan. I'm like, yo, Dubois having a seizure. I'm leaving his name out of it. Uh, Dubois having a seizure. I got to go get Doc. So I'm like, I, I think I was in my socks at the time. Like, I'm like running down to barracks, like trying to get, I'm like going to get Doc, right? So I get Doc, and I think it was Doc Lundy at the time. If you, if you guys know Doc, Doc Lundy, you know who I'm talking about. He's a real cool dude that was in the Navy and just like super chill, like never got excited about nothing, right? So he's like, oh, so somebody's having a seizure, you know? And I'm like, fuck Doc. I was like, let's fucking go, you know, like, let's go. And so um, we get back up there, and so everything, like, he, he checks out, or shit. <laughs> All right, so I just accidentally said the name. I'm going to get it. Uh, I'm going to take that out of there. So he checks out. Um, he checks out Dude Boy, and uh, turns out he's okay, but he still wants to take him to the hospital to get all of his vitals, make sure that um, you know he's not he's not screwed up. So it turned out he was all right, but um, <sighs> fuck. Um, it turns out that. I had to edit this multiple times because I keep saying his name, but um, turns out that he uh, he asked me. He said, "Dude, did you wipe my ass?" <laughs> and I said, "I was like, what you? What do you mean?" <laughs> and he's like, "Did you wipe my ass? Because my ass was clean when I got to the hospital." And I said, "Well, I wasn't gonna let you go to the go to the hospital with a dirty ass." So, yes, I did wipe my brother's ass because he had a seizure on the toilet while he was in the middle of shitting. And I made sure that he was clean so that when he went to the hospital, he wouldn't be super embarrassed. So yes, I did wipe my buddy's ass when he had the seizure on the toilet. And you know, everybody was like, dude, I can't believe you wiped his ass. And like, 
I mean, we would all do it in that situation. So, it, it, you know, a lot of people gave me shit about that. But uh, I took care of my friend. I took care of my buddy when, when he was in a time that he needed me. So uh, just one of those things like everybody would be like, hey, remember the time you wiped his ass? You know, so it is what it is. I mean, it just happened. Um, you do it real quick. You don't think about it. You just do what needs to be done and you carry on. So that's the story about the seizure on the toilet. Ha, ha, ha.